Hi, welcome back to the Wyatt Studio here with the Inside Bliss with LeVon Kirkland. And I can tell you today, folks, I'm a little nervous because we got one of the great running backs ever in South Carolina. I dare say probably one of the best football players to ever grace the state of South Carolina. We have Marcus Lattimore here with us today. Hey, Marcus, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. Oh, man. Great good seeing see you. you. Yeah. Honored to be here with you. Honored to be here with me. I'm honored to for you to be here with us, man. You doing okay? I'm doing well. It's obviously been a tough couple of days. Yes. The, uh, passing of one of the greatest human uh, beings. Yeah, that, no that, question that about lived, it. But, yeah. Uh, all you can really do during this time is reflect on the good things. Yeah, and, that's and, it. And what the the amount of joy that he brought to so many people. And I tell you what, what it does make you do too is it makes you appreciate um, your loved ones that are here. If you have a riff yes. with a loved one or anything like that, you need to make amends. I, I, you couldn't have said it any better. I saw Jay Williams uh, last night uh, as he was trying to portray what Kobe meant yeah. to the world. Right. He said exactly what you just said. Right. Let that S H I T go. <laughs> Whatever you got going on yeah, with another human being. Let it go. It's not worth it. Well, uh Marcus, uh, again we're really happy that you're here and you know we want to really tell everybody about the the wonderful work that we're doing here with the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame, how we're making a difference with football and how we're touching our young people. We have a ceremony that is tremendous. We honor our um, our players that come from South Carolina, our coaches, who's ever been associated with South Carolina, we want to give them honor. But also, we do a lot with young people. We want to. We have a Bridge Builder Award this year that we're so proud to um, have displayed this year to one of our young people. You worked a lot with developing young people. Can you? Go on a little bit to tell us what you do and how you think that the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame is doing a tremendous job. Yeah, I, I think it's number one an important mm -hmm. mission, right? And, and, and number two, it, it's it makes a difference in so many lives, right? Out outside of outside of the field, right? You know, outside of those hundred yards that we play on, yeah. Football is so important in the state of South Carolina. And no question. You have experienced, just as I have, the amount of influence mm -hmm. that can come from, you know, being a well-known player in the right. state. And I think it's more than anything our responsibility to reach out to the youth and let them know there is life outside of football. No question. And that's what the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame is doing. It's, it's showing that not only we care about you on the field, but we care about you off the field. Right, correct. And with this bridge program, I think there's 70,000 jobs in the state of South Carolina that are unfilled right now that kids could be learning about. And, and, and I mean, just being able to go into these schools and, and show them that there is another way right. out, out, outside of football, uh, it gives them confidence mm -hmm. going into that next phase of the life. Uh, so, and, and I've seen firsthand, you know, working at the university with guys who put all their eggs in one basket, sure. who believe that the NFL is all they have and all the only goal that they can accomplish in right. life. That's not necessarily the case when you give yourself more options. Right. And that's what South Carolina Football Hall of Fame is doing, is giving these kids more options. Man, I, I really couldn't say it better. So if you have an opportunity, you have a chance, really come see us at our uh, our ceremony. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. If you get an opportunity also, also become a member. We're still looking for sponsors. Uh, we're still looking for donors. We're looking for volunteers. So if you can do that, that'd be great. Now, Marcus, I, I want to get some softball questions. Yes, sir. I want to ask you, what's your favorite word? Word. Oh man, favorite word. Yeah, your favorite word. You got one, right? I, I you, you know, my wife really um, just say her favorite word. She she would she would tell you that any word that I learn in a book that I'm reading right. 
currently uh -huh. would be my favorite word. Right. I don't know what my favorite word is right now. Debacle is what I've been debacle, on. Debacle. I've been using yeah. that a lot. Debacle I use, and debauchery. Yeah. Those are good words. I, I use, like you know, I, I keep it simple. I use like amazing and like amazing. awesome, you know. At one time I didn't like awesome, but now I kind of like it um, as I get older. So, yeah, okay. I like that. I like well, that. I really whatever's do. flowing within yeah. my consciousness throughout that week, I guess. Sure, whatever sure. Whatever I see the most of. Okay. So, so tell me now what was your personality like as a kid because i see you as a a quiet guy but no. were you a quiet guy or you kind of i was a uh, quiet with? yeah introverted shy my mom would say sneaky right yeah and i yeah. And, and you know looking back on that time i was very <laughs> sneaky <laughs> you would steal like cookies out of the cookie jar oh, that I, nobody would know you know i was more, it was more promiscuous than anything, <laughs> you know, because I, 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 uh, I didn't want her to know that I was talking to girls at the time. Right, so I had right. to sneak around and do certain things. But yeah. I wife, now they got yeah. <laughs> no more lies, right? No more lies. Yeah, I got it. I understand. Now, okay, now you, you, you're a mainstay in Columbia. Everybody loves you there. But tell me, what's your favorite restaurant and what's your go-to meal? <sighs> favorite restaurant. I mean, how can you go wrong with Halls? Okay. I mean, they put one in Columbia. Right. They now have one in Grable. Uh oh. And when I go down to Charleston, I'm going to Halls. So yeah. Now, what you get though? Out, what you get? Oh, the ribeye. The ribeye? No, no doubt. Medium. Oh, yeah. And if you cook it over medium, yeah. I don't Do you have think, a problem I don't with really it? I think we can be friends. Right. Okay. <sighs> Man, I tell you what, I, when people order a steak well done, I'm like, what are you doing? What what, what flavor are you tasting? Are you well and done? then they're asking for a barbecue sauce. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and that <laughs> ruins the whole steak. Well, just leave the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I, I would think so. Yeah. So tell me now, when did you start playing football? And also, this is a two-part question here. Uh, tell me about your first touchdown. Oh, man. I started playing when I was six because my friends were playing. And right. I, I'll honestly say I didn't like the game of football really? at first. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't understand why two people were we, running we're crashing each, each other. other. I think of that right now as my neck is still hurting <laughs> and shoulder blade. But go ahead. We, 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 we're going to feel that for a long time. Yes. but. My first touchdown, I'll never forget, was on Nixon Field right. in Duncan, South Carolina, and it's the place where I made my name. And, right. Um, it, it was a, it was a special moment because my fullback at the time mm -hmm. is my best friend. Oh, okay, cool. To this day, we talk, uh, we hang out. Um, and his name is Corey Miller. He's now a strength coach right. at, at, at Ole Miss. And, so he's not the old Corey Miller that came up with me. He's not the old one. He's not. The, <laughs> they look alike, though. Do they? They're still built. Yeah. They're built the same place, yeah. the same yeah. position yeah. where they finally got to college and NFL. But uh, he was my fullback. And uh, we, we, it's more. It's not the touchdown. It's the memories of right. the touchdowns and the people that I that I grew up with and, and, yeah. and experienced a lot of joy in this game. Well, I, I tell you what, Marcus, you were a big deal in high school football. I mean, let's let's be honest with it. I know you're going to try to be humble. I mean, you were the Rise National Junior Player of the Year. You were uh, a USA Today All-American, uh, Mr. South Carolina in football. See, I, I did a little bit of studying about man, you. Are you surprised? This, yeah, this is crazy that LeVon yeah. Kirkland is saying this right now. No, man. Well, you know, I, I believe in Marcus Lattimore, man. So, tell me, how do you handle all that attention, all that blessing that you're getting at such an early age i didn't know how to handle it right uh, I, I didn't I, there, there is no manual mm -hmm. uh for when you know people are showing up at your house right um you know it's it's celebrity and and, and popularity throughout the state i mean it was uh it's a whirlwind mm -hmm. it really is uh but you know, thank God I've had great coaches and role right. models and mentors in my life that, that, that showed me that that's not the piece that's important. It's what you do with all of that fame and notoriety right. and attention because as we've seen with so many celebrities over the past, you know, ever since there's been a celebrity, right. I mean, fame can, can, can be lethal Yes, uh, if you don't have purpose in your life. Right. Uh, so I've just tried to do things in a way where I, I I know my platform and I know my influence and I want that to shine mm -hmm. over what I've done because right. what I what I do is not really 
what I did was not really important. Uh, that everybody can anybody can play football. Yeah. What you do with football right. is, is the difference. So I've tried to take that perspective uh, because it's so easy to get caught up in right. things that aren't important. Hmm. And when I say not important, uh, what people think of you, right. uh, how they look at you, how they respond to you, that you can't control any of that. Hmm. What you can control is 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 your attitude, your choices, your beliefs, and. Right. That's what I've, I've just tried to control what I can control over this journey. It's just been, it's been fun, and I've learned a lot, and I've made a lot of mistakes. Right, and I yeah. failed a lot, and that's why I'm in a good position now. Right, right. I'm telling you, man, this guy is tremendous. Oh, I mean, I, I've heard of his humbleness before, but to to see it up at close in person, it, it's just it's just great. Now. You came into South Thanks. Carolina, and I, I want to ask, before I ask this question, what, what's the reason why you went to um, University of South Carolina? Yeah, I, I didn't have a favorite team growing up. Really? Okay. I me, grew- You know, me either. I didn't either. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I mean, I like both of them. It didn't really matter. I mean, Florida State was, was hot at the time. Oh, yes. In the 90s, yes. LSU, yeah. Alabama. Those right. were the teams that was on TV, so I watched those. But uh, Clemson, I was a little bit closer to, and I really wanted to... Uh, I really wanted to stay close to home, mm-hmm. you know, so I would go and visit the Clemson, South Carolina, Georgia, Auburn. I wanted to stay uh, nearby, but it was something about Coach Perry that was right. different. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, his auth- authenticity, his his uh, confidence, right. it rubbed off on you, yeah. even during the recruiting process. And he looked me in my eye and said, look, we're going to run the ball. Right. And that's all the reassurance I needed because I would hear – so much about if I went to South Carolina, yeah, you're not going to get the ball. They're going to throw. I got the ball 30, 40 times a game, and I yeah, no question. every second of it. So, yeah. While the uh, rest of us were like, oh, my God, <laughs> <laughs> please stop. <laughs> please stop running him. Now, you, you go to South Carolina, and I think you're just already ready. And, and that's – that's not always easy for a freshman to come in to be ready made to play. And I mean, you took off like a a lightning bolt. It was amazing to watch. Uh, I think that second game was against Georgia, and you yeah. just went bananas. Tell me how to feel to go into the SEC as a a freshman. You're probably 18, 19 years old, and just wreck shop the way you did. Oh man, uh, my, my my coaches put me in a good position. <laughs> they gave me plays that I that I knew. Right. Um, it was. I was very blessed to have a veteran offensive line sure. right in front of me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but man, I just never forget that game that you're referring to, which I can't believe Levon Kirkland knows I had. Oh, I also know yards against Georgia. I, I also know this. I know that you broke 42 tackles. Oh man! How do you break 42 tackles? Before that game, mm-hmm. Spencer Landing was our senior team captain, uh, kicker, punter. Uh, played a few years in the NFL. He looked me dead in my eye, and he told me the words. He said, look, control what you can control. Mm-hmm. Go be Marcus. And up until that moment, I, my nerves were so bad. Right. Was of so, course. And it was the first game I was ever started. Uh, I was scared to death. Mm-hmm. But, man, it's amazing how words can just soothe your mind. No question, yeah. And, and, and just, God, I've just had so many good people around me right. who helped me through that. My coaches put me in a good position. They they ran the plays I was good at. And sometimes football is just that simple, <laughs> you know, just that simple. And I think what we're going to see on Sunday, mm-hmm. you know, with the Super Bowl is – putting guys in a position where they can be successful. Right, right. You know, Pat Mahomes has been successful because of Andy Reid put him in that position. No question. Debo Samuel, Spartanburg, South Carolina, he's been successful because he's put us in that position. You know, Debo Samuel, we've talked about him every segment we get about the pro players that, are inside, that come from South Carolina, what they're doing. Debo was always the guy we talked about and you looked at him in South Carolina, what he did. Just amazing. Really just amazing. And, I mean, and you know what? I I love the guy because he's okay. a competitor. Sure. Yeah. He had that, again, I, every time I think about a competitor, I just think about that Mamba mentality of Kobe Bryant. But, I mean, that's what he had. Right. And that's why he'll be successful and he'll play a long time. Oh, yeah, no question about it. And those guys that we talk about, like yourself, Depot, Samuel, man, they're going to be part of our – someday, hopefully, they'll be a part of our Football Hall of Fame. Yeah. And, you know, we're still having that ceremony April 2nd. And I tell you, it's a it's – a, 
it's a ceremony that we're bringing the best of yes, the sir. best in South Carolina. Have you ever seen our list of guys that we have on there, Marcus? It's a star-studded yeah, list. Yeah, man. And, Not bad. And, you know, on that day, um, I, I, I think we'll – we'll be able to see, yeah, this is a small state. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a pro team, but look at this list of guys. Right, yeah. Who came out of this small rural state that, you know, has a whatever reputation from the outside world. Uh, we, we, we do a lot of things right here. And uh, proud we, to be a we definitely we definitely do football right. And if you're a business, if you have a business, if you're looking to sponsor an uh, organization uh, like ours, this is organization do it, and you could be rubbing elbows with some of the greats. And, and it's it's going to be an honor for me. But I think that you know the kids more than anything that yeah. to be able to see somebody like Levon Kirkland or right, Marcus Lattimore to see somebody like Charlie Brown. I mean, yeah. just all of these guys who've um, meant so much to the state. It not only gives them uh, inspiration, right? But they're there to learn as well. Man, I tell you what, Marcus, man, for for um, I like the fact that, you know, football just it, it really brings a lot of things together, you know, different people, different races, diverse background. But I like the fact that you went to the University of South Carolina. I went to Clemson and we we're just having this amazing conversation. And it was so funny as an older player. Sometimes you don't think that the younger guys really know who you are. But for you to say like, man, LeVon Kirkland, man, that means a whole lot to me. It really does, man. man well, well, thank you for what you've done for the game. Oh, thank you. Obviously, there's a lot of commonalities sure. that we have, even though it is South Carolina, Clemson. Yeah, yeah. I mean, r- we're trying to bring all that together. Yeah. We're trying to bring it all together. Rivalry talking. aside, this yeah. is this is about something way bigger than us, right? Yeah. So I'm. I'm it, I'm it's about to be really getting young people and to help them along their way. And that's the wonderful thing I like about Simple. what we do. And we're making a difference. And you got your band? Will you show everybody your band? See? We all making a difference. Yeah, man. And it's all for the youth. Thank you, man. Hey, Marcus, man, we really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time. Anytime you want to come by, you got an open invitation, my friend. That sounds good to me. All right, man. Thank you. You the man. All right. You the man. Appreciate it. We'll be right back with Inside Bliss with LeVon Kirkland. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Marcus Lattimore, and I'd like you to join as a member of the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame to help secure your legacy in making a difference through football.